Today's Albion online video is all about Chef or Alchemist, which is better and why. I'm going to take you through crafting and leveling up both of these professions, show you the math, the profits, and uh, just how expensive it is to max out versus the other one or the other. Which one is going to win? Well, it's Chef. I'm going to spoil the video for you. Chef is the clear choice. I'm going to show you why, but we're going to start with Alchemist because that's how I did the video. Here is 38.1 million in potions, and these are the new potions that were added to the game with the tracking update. Here is my potion crafting levels. You can see here that I have nothing in these new ones except for Hellfire Brewer, which is only level 2, almost level 3. Let's see how many we get. Uh, this is a fame week, by the way. We have 35% increased fame, also premium active. And we're just going to flush 38 million down the toilet here and study all of these potions, which is going to cost a whopping 356,000. If I used focus, um, <laughs> well, um, it wouldn't really do much. It would, let's see, how much would that add? Let's see, yeah, it would barely add 71,000. So I'm not going to use any focus. Anyway, let's see how many levels that we get, and I'll be right back. There we go, we have con studied the potions, not consumed them, and now our levels are as follows. It looks like we're level 44 with calming, 36 cleansing, 43, 44, 35, 44, and 39. So it was like, it's like, you know, one third of the way there. 38 million, and um, let me tell you, to get to like 1 to 50 is, um, it, it's like 1 7th or 1 8th of the cost it takes to go from 1 to 100, or... Or from 50 to 100. It's ridiculous how many fame, how much fame you need to like push past like 7, level 70, level 80, level 90 are all way more fame than 1 to 50. <laughs> it's it's insanely costly to level this new potions up. So with all of these new potion levels, what it, how much focus now does it cost uh, to craft something? So let's find like just a tier 4, uh, let's see, minor poison potion. And uh, I'm, we're going to check that now. So with all of these level ups, it's costing me 16 focus to craft a minor poison potion. How much focus did it cost beforehand? Let's find out. But before we do that, let's figure out the quick math. So what I ended up doing was this is about 1,200. This is about 500 if you round down and up. So that's about 1,700. So it's 16 focus. You get 10,000 focus per day divided by 16, 625 times times 1,700, so essentially, uh, that's, um, that's 1 million silver per day in focus. And here we are on the test server that has a snapshot of my character before, uh, I leveled those potions up. Where's my potions at? Now, I do have a little bit of le uh, levels on the test server because I was testing a few things, but everything's just level 1, 5, 1, 3, 1, 1. So, you can tell, you know, it's without any of those levels. Now, if we craft the same potion... This time, it is 22 focus instead of 16. Not, not a whole lot of difference, but let's see how much that difference is. So 10,000 divided by 22 is 454. So 454 times 1,700 makes it 771,800. And if we take a million, you know, subtract it by that amount. Uh, so essentially now, per day, I can earn 228,200 silver. But because I spent 38 million silver to get there, how long will that take to repay? And the answer is 167 days. Uh, so you have to really, like how many months is that? Divide by 30? That's about five and a half months. <laughs> so yes, uh, if I was to be a potion crafter, I would, uh, I'm in the hole for five and a half months. Uh, you know, and that's, uh, you know, premium's like 21 million right now. So let's multiply that by 21 million silver. Uh, which is going to cost me another 116 million. Like, you can see that crafting is just a crapshoot, right? Crafting is just a real pain in the ass to level up. And and uh, if I wanted to get that all to 100, because it, they're close enough to 50. So, what, how much focus did I save? 22, and it went down to 16. So, um, that's 6 focus, right? We can lose another 6 focus. So, let's say we did lose another 6 focus, and it only cost 10 focus... To craft the potion instead, well, 10,000 divided by 10 is 1,000, and then multiply that by 1,700. That means, this is estimated, this is not exact, but at a maximum level potion crafting completely, that uh, we would make this amount per day. 
but it's gonna con it's gonna put us another 15 months in the hole or 20 months in the hole um <laughs> so uh but hey we make a thousand seven hundred per you know 1.7 million per day uh th again that's just with that specific potion there there could be a better margin on the market but uh i would have to do a ton of math and a bunch of spreadsheeting and that's just not fun i'd rather just play the game so there you go crafting is like potion crafting sucks don't ever do it Okay, being a chef is way simpler and easier and, and cheaper to level up. It's way cheaper. Way, way, way cheaper to level up. Uh, so why don't we talk about that for a little bit. So first off, this is how much fame it takes to max a crafting tree in the chef. It's the same fame for potion crafting, so 4 million fame required. Uh, but to get to level 100, just basic chef, so you can craft tier 8 food, only 458,000 fame, which is... Pretty easy to reach, and I'm going to teach you how to do that first. So let's start with the butcher tree. Just for those that don't know, when you scroll down here to being a chef, there are different things you can cook. You can be an ingredient chef, a sandwich chef, etc. And we're going to start with butcher here, uh, because butcher is pretty darn expensive. It's probably the most expensive one. It's also the most tedious, uh, but we can get you to level 100 chef with small amounts of losses. So you can craft the tier 8 items if necessary. But here, here's how to do the math. I will not do the math for you. Okay, this math I'm showing you was done about three weeks ago when I decided to sit down and actually do my homework. But essentially, uh, here's the math, okay? So when butchering, if you here's the cost of all the animals you can butcher. This is per animal, okay? So if I buy a chicken, 4,900 silver. If I buy a cow, 6,900 silver. Pretty simple. Now, here's the cost to butcher it at a butchering station that has 355 silver per 100 nutrition. What does that mean? Well, let me show you on the map here. So, if we find a, uh, a butcher, this one is 950 per 1,000 nutrition, and it is the only one in Brazilian, so a little pricier, but um, if we go to, like, say, let's uh, go to, damn, all the way over here to Bridgewatch, and uh, can I, is, it, is the game going to let me click it? And we check out these butchering stations... Well, there's one for 350. Uh, there's one for 315, 315, 325, etc. 9,999. Don't craft on Bagminators station at all. That's a scam. But uh, so here we go. So the craft for one butcher is three at 355 is 288 silver. Here's how much fame butchering each animal gave. Chicken gave me three or 630. Now in parentheses is the number without premium, which you should not be doing this without premium. And I do want to mention that these numbers do not represent fame or bonus weeks. So right now, even on the test server, it's a 35% fame week. And then with premium, you know, th this number will be higher. So if I butchered an animal, it's going to be higher than what's shown on the screen here. This is why you should always wait for a fame week, especially a 35% fame week. That's the largest it's that it's ever been in the whole game. That is the highest amount. It's always been 25%, but because the game is literally dying and still front is bleeding money trying to like survive they've increased it to 35 percent so anyway uh if you take the silver cost and you take the fame gained what is the best creature to butcher so here's the quick and dirty you butcher one chicken this will get you uh enough basic chef levels to be able to butcher goats then you have to butcher 694 goats or 1,042 if you don't have premium. And this will get you level 100 chef. Now, to max out butchery, you will need to butcher 5,421 more goats with premium to get level 100 butcher. The end result is that uh, it's about 33 million silver to be able to do this. Now, when you sell the meat back to the market because you can't study butchered meat, uh, you will get 70, around 75%, possibly more, but... You expect to lose 25% of the money you invested. So uh, when you do the rounding up and stuff, you're going to be losing about 8 million silver uh, to max out butchery. So as you can, see, as we compared from potion crafting to, to maxing butchery, it's way cheaper because I dumped 38 million, you know, and uh, <laughs> we're not even close, right? Now here's the kind of math that you're going to have to do in order to determine what is the best food to craft? Like, because I'm not going to be able to tell you, but I'm going to do the math for Omelette Chef, and there is uh, 
there's, I'm going to show you just in the omelet category everything you have to do just to figure out which is the best omelet. But let's start with the omelet chef, okay? Omelet chef, and we're going to go with the chicken omelet. That's the very first thing you can craft, and here's the math on that. So the cost to buy an omelet is 350 The cost to study one at 400 and t 410 nutrition, or 410 silver per 100 nutrition is 25 silver. The fame if you study it is 115 with premium. This is 3.26 silver spent per fame point. Or it's going to cost you 13.16 million to max out Omelet Chef by studying, by buying and studying chicken omelets, right? But what about if you craft 10 of them at a time? Well, the wheat cost, the chicken cost, the hen egg cost. And yes, if you butcher the chicken, you can reduce the cost a bit. Of course, of course. You know, this is all stuff you would have to do the math for, right? The crafting fee to craft at 410 silver per nutrition. The base, the best case return rate, okay? You don't always get the same return rates, but the best case return rate after doing all the, you know, selling the ingredients or whatever, 630. So technically it costs 3,000 silver to craft 10 of these chicken omelets. Now, this is how much fame you get if you craft it. This is how much silver you're spending for per fame point. So it's more. It's it's actually more expensive, right? And it's going to cost you $29 million if you craft them. But uh, here's the thing. You can always sell these back, right? So then if you... St now, if you craft them and study them, here's how this works. 258 total cost. The fame from studying 10 of them, the total fame, and then crafting them yourself and then studying the rest to hit that level 100 breakpoint would only cost you $8.4 million. So if you just buy them, it's $13 million. If you craft them... It's 29 million. If you craft and study, 8.4 million. So we're on to something. We're we're getting it cheaper. It's still about 8 million to max out. But if you craft it and then sell it back to the market with a 25% expected loss, uh, this will take you months to sell through because of how much is sold per day. You are only sp spending 0 0.6 silver per fame. Okay? So how do you do the math on that? Well... It's only 240,000 to max out currently on the market, okay? So anyone that does the spreadsheet and does the math will, will obviously see, and this is without without the fame week, by the way, so it's technically 35% cheaper. Uh, the, if you, by only, only spending 240,000 silver, you can become a max omelet chef crafter, all right? So that's pretty dang good. That's really, really good, right? So here's the thing, you have to, all that math you had to do right there, you have to do this this many more times. So let me put it on the screen here. Here's the remaining omelets that you got to do the math for, okay? Those are the remaining omelets in the game you can craft. I'm not going to do the math for you. You would have to go to the market, craft a few, write it down, spreadsheet it out, and uh, figure out which one is effectively the cheapest possible one to do. And uh, you're going to have to do this for everything in the tree. It's a, it's a mountain of math. It's about, you're going to spend a whole day doing it, like six to eight hours of, of just studying and math and writing down numbers. But when you do, and I don't have a max chef crafter here, like uh, uh, I'm, my character here has level 10 in roasts because he wanted to get the life steel roast on the very first day that they came out. And that's it on, on, on this character. I do have max level chef characters, but... Um, uh, you know, the focus cost on that is something completely different, and uh, I, I guess I can go ahead and show you. So let's see how much focus that a brand new chef would have to spend to cook the same ingredients, right? So my character, I have 10 levels in Roast Chef. That That's just crafting, you know, a handful, right? 31 into Butcher, nothing into hardly anything else, 17 into Salads, and 10 into Soups. So a very small, low-level amount of stuff, right? He, so to craft... Some pork roasts is going to cost me 3,131 focus, okay? So, again, let's pull out that calculator. Let's uh, let's find out uh, how how many I can do per day. 10,000 subtracted by, uh, or no, it's divided. Uh, divided by 3,131. Well, I can do about three times. Three, three times per day, right? <laughs> so, how much can a master chef craft per day? Here we have a max level chef. This is Chef Swole Benji. And let's see his chef levels here. Oh look, everything's 100. Everything is 100. It does not get any better than this. And I will tell you right now, each node costs about 8 million. So 8 times 7. 
or I mean, if you want to do eight times eight, whatever. But um, it's actually a little more if you do it hastily. I spent 111 million, but you could get it a little bit cheaper if you really, you know, work towards it. But let's see how many roast porks this character can craft per day. So this character, it only costs 117 focus. Well, it's time to do more math. Let's see how many we can technically craft. 10,000 divided by 117 means we can craft 85 times. So, uh, why don't we go ahead and craft it with focus and see what our returns are. Right now, our inventory is worth 40,000. So, we're going to craft this. And there we go. Now, it's worth 58,000. So, we made 18,000 there. About. Well, you know, it's a little bit more. But whatever. We're just going to say it's 18,000. And so, we take... Uh, let's see, how much was that again? 10,000 divided by 117, well, yeah, it was 85. 85 times 18,000. So every day, this chef prints 1.5 million. So not quite as much as the potion crafter, of course. You know, and, and again, I just picked a random food. This is not, this is not the most profitable food, okay? I actually know the most profitable food, but I'm not telling. <laughs> you gotta do the math yourself. But uh, it is way cheaper to max out Chef than it is Potion Crafting. And yes, I am aware that if you craft in Carleone for food, there is a food bonus. I, I'm not new to the game, I, I'm aware. But all the food in Carleone, if you sell it there, is sold at a huge discount because everyone crafts food there because that's where the bonus is. And so the only way to make a real better profit is to transport it out of Carleone. Well, you're surrounded by red zones, so you, you transport, you know, 10, 20, 50 million, you know, silver worth of food out of Carleone, you're dead. You get ganked, you get killed by red zone, you know, gankers using massive amounts of scouts. It's not worth the risk. I refuse to do it. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm doing my crafting in Bridgewatch, whereas in Brazilian, doing your potion crafting, there is no risk. It's uh, just simply better. Uh, also, I am aware that, um, you know, butchering goat, raw goat, is better in Bridgewatch, and that's why when I showed you earlier that, um, you know, when doing the butchering math, that goat was higher, because, again, I do all my, most of my crafting from Bridgewatch, and that's why that is there. I know someone in the comments will be like, blah, 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 blah. so I'm saying it now. And you may be wondering, why is, why is being a chef better than potion crafting? It makes no sense. The, the potions have more nodes. It should be, it should be a bigger profit margin maker, right? And the answer is simple. To craft any of these foods, there is no rare ingredients. But to craft the rare potions, you will need rare ingredients like this werewolf fang or this sylvian root. Or, uh, like, not all the potions have rare ingredients, of course, of course. Just the new ones. Just the new ones, you know, like an imp's horn. Well, like, uh, this is the test server. And imp horns are hard to come by, okay? Uh, imp horns are rare. You have to go do tracking in high tier zones with a group. Uh, excellent, excellent. Can't spell imp's horn. So look, there's like not even there's not even a full page of them, okay? And uh, they're actually a little cheaper right now than they normally are. But uh, then again, like this one was listed at 80k, you know, 30 days ago. Because again, this is test server stuff, so. If I look at the live server, there's going to be even less available than this. So, uh, yeah, and the price will be higher because it's crafting week. So everyone's buying them to craft the, the, the staffs, the weapons. That's another problem is that these potion material ingredients are sharing a literal weapon line ingredient. And every, you know, all the black zone, all the cartels, that they have hideouts in the black zones and stuff. And uh, I was going to show you math on that. But every time I set up a, a hideout on the test server, the damn devs update the test server and they take a snapshot from the live server. And I'm not putting a hideout on a live server for a video. That's a hundred plus million. I'm, I'm a solo guy. I can't feed it power cores or anything. You can forget it. I literally cannot show you the math on uh, Black Zone hideout crafting. I'm sorry. I wish I could. But um, if you're not crafting weapons and armor from a Black Zone hideout, you craft at a loss, essentially. You might make a tiny bit of profit, but you're not making the, the big boy money. And uh, anything that requires refining is also carteled, so you're just screwed on that. That's why potion crafting and being a chef are the only two viable options for a solo guildless player to make money on crafting, good money. But because potion crafting is such a more expensive venture, I'll, even, I'll show you the math on potion crafting. Alright, so while filming this video, they've uh, altered the test server again. Alright, and um, 
So, on the live server, when you craft rare ingredient potions, you only get five. But on the test server, and coming soon to a patch near you, I don't know when, but definitely not when this video is released, and definitely probably not during fame week, for sure, I'm sure. Uh, the rare potions, you now craft ten of them. So that kind of makes the math a little simpler. Let me just show you my text document here. So, I know it's going to be hard to read, but um, basically, if I studied potions, how much fame do I get, and how much would it cost... So tier 7 was the choice on every single one, 66 million for acid, 40 million for berserking, 60 million, etc. You, you get the idea. Calming was 83 million. And again, these numbers were taken weeks ago, so the, the price could have obviously changed. Whereas Tornado was the cheapest at 18 million to max out. Now if I craft tier 7 and 8 potions, for instance, I did the math on the acid potions. You know, here's the excellent spirit paws, the mullion, foxglove, potato snaps, sheep's milk, corn hooch, all that stuff. So... The cost, the cost to craft at, you know, certain amounts of nutrition, the return rate, uh, the fame from crafting, how many crafts to max it, 135 million in cost if I just wanted to craft it, how much to study it, and then fame if I studied what I crafted, etc., etc. So the, uh, the total cost uh, right now for 200 crafts to study would be 37 million for the acid potion. Pretty, pretty wild. If I just bought acid potions to study at 66 million. So obviously crafting and then studying them is the cheaper alternative. And, you know, then on my notes, oh, the, the test server updated. So now it's 10x instead of 5x potions. So this means that the fame of studied, you know, raises from crafting, which means it only costs 21 million now for the acid potion. Well, the acid potion, you know, went from 66 million to 21 million. So about uh, one third of the cost. So you can take all these numbers and, and the similar amount of the rough math would be one third, one third of 40 million, one third of, again, 60 million, one third, 40 million, one third of 21 million. One third of 83 million. It's still way, way, way more expensive. And this is just the rare, this is just the rare potions, right? This is not including the regular potions. The regular potions are going to be about a, a very similar thing, not as expensive though, but there are way more potion nodes than there are chef nodes. And the, the problem is, is that, like, I used to be a max potion crafter before these new potions came out. When they released these new potions, they nerfed the focus return rate. So, like, I was able, I, back in the day, I was able to craft those minor poison potions way cheaper than I can now. It's not like the focus got lowered more, and the reason why is because if it did, it would push certain things that you craft into fractions of decibels instead of, you know, solid numbers. And that's why they nerfed it across the board, which kind of screwed over all the potion crafters. So, at some point, possibly in the future, not, I'm not saying if or when... They might introduce new foods to the game that require rare ingredients and then screw over chefs as well. So be aware of that when becoming a master chef. Just note that, um, you know, you're going to have to wait one to two years after these new rare ingredients drop to get them at an affordable price. Because if I tried to do this when the tracking update dropped, it, it was multiple billions in cost. So I just want you to be aware if you decide to pursue crafting in, in Albion Online, this is the kind of crap that you're going to have to deal with, and uh, it sucks. So, anyway, have fun. That's the video. Mwah. Um, make sure to leave a like and comment. Click the video on the right side of your screen, or you're going to spill your spaghetti.